Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today's video is going to be installment number three of Drugstore Week. We're talking about all things lips. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Today's video is going to be number three in my Drugstore Week series where I tell you everything about some of my top 10 favorite drugstore products in every single category. By now we've done base, we've done cheeks, and today we're talking lips. So let me just get down to it and tell you all about my favorite drugstore lip products. In case you're new here, it may be good to know who I am and what I like doing on this channel. So hi, my name is Maika. I live in the Netherlands. I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone and this greatly influences my makeup preferences. I have been reviewing makeup for more than a decade. I love Essence and Catrice eyeshadow palettes and getting the use out of my makeup. So if that's something you're interested in, then I hope you'd like to consider subscribing. But yes, we're talking about lips today. And as with my other videos, there are three drugstore brands that I try most of the time, which is Kiko, Essence and Catrice. And Essence lip products, weird smells. So they're usually not my favorite. I tend to declutter a lot of my Essence lip products over time. However, Catrice is, I think, hands down like my go-to brand when it comes to a drugstore lipstick. So I think they're in here with four different products. <laughs> just saying, just saying, just saying, just being totally transparent and um, like I'm not sponsored by the brand. Some people have been telling me that I should be by now, but yeah, uh, Catrice, I'm here for their lip products. They sometimes fall off the bandwagon, but for the most part, they do some really lovely things. However, I would like to start with what's on my lips today because I thought it would be fun to do this entire range of videos while also wearing some of the things that I'm talking about. And this is a pro product combination that I bought when I was in Italy in October, and I've been loving it ever since. I think I already wore it in some other videos as well, but I was like, okay, I just wanna make sure that I wear this combo for this video. Um, I have one of their lip liners. Who knew? I'm suddenly a lip liner girl. If you told me that a year ago, I would have probably laughed you out of the door, but I like lip liners. And I bought the Wicon Intense Lip Pencil in shade 54 Mauve, which is this little guy right here, with the Wicon Matte Icon Lipstick in shade seven, mauve. Look at that perfect shade match. I just am loving this combination. And this is a really nice matte lipstick that it just, it reminds me formula wise of what the Lisa Eldridge Velvet lipsticks have to offer. These aren't as tuggy though. Like they're not, this, this isn't as stiff as some of the Lisa Eldridge ones are when you first get them. They have a little seal, a uh, wax seal. So it's better to warm them up on the back of your hand first to really get the color payoff. With this, it was like instant, but this is what it looks like. It is a slightly warmer mauve, but I feel that with a green eye like this, you can see that it has a little bit of that purple coming through as well. Very often, if things don't look very purple, if you put it against a green, you can bring, you can actually bring the purpleiness out because green and purple are opposites on the color wheel. So that's why this, I feel, looks a little bit cooler tone than it does when I wear other things because it does have like a, pinky brown base with a bit of like purple running through it. It's my lips, but better in a lipstick, but the formula of this, it feels thick and creamy and balmy, like you're wearing lip balm, but it lasts really well all day. And a color payoff of this. This feels like a high-end lipstick and it was like, what, 10 euros? It was really good. Wicon is an Italian-based makeup brand like Kiko um, and they have their dedicated stores. That's how I was able to find it. I have not been able to really figure out whether they also have an online website. I still need to figure out whether that's the case because I'd love me some more of those lipsticks for sure. Like I put this on my lips, like the minute I took pictures and I was like, this is what I want from a lipstick. So. This is really lovely lipstick from Wicon, and I had to mention it here. Um, but I also, apart from lipstick, I also have some like lip gloss kind of things. 
So let me, let me start with the sheerest thing and then build up in intensity next. So of course I have to mention the new Catrice Gloss and Glow Tinted Lip Oils. I have compared these to like the Dior lip oil and the House Labs lip oil because I have this shade, a similar shade to this in the Dior and I have a shade similar to this in the House Labs and I feel they're pretty similar. Um, this is shade Glossip Girl, the hot pink one, and this is Keep It Juicy. I did a full video where I tried all of the shades onto my lips. So if you wanna see that, I'll make sure to link that in the description box down below. Um, this is lovely. I've actually been reaching for these over my more high-end lip oils. This is a bit more of a tint, so if you want something that leaves a little bit of a pinkiness behind when it wears down, this is lovely. But this is stunning as well. It's a little bit more sheer though. Maybe if your lips are less pigmented than mine, this would be okay, because this is really close to my actually natural lip color. Th like this lipstick is what my lips look like for real. So that's why I always need something a little bit more intense if it's this sheer, but formula wise, you can't beat them. And then I also have to shout out the Kiko Milano 3D, 3D Hydra glosses. These were off the market for a little while because they were being reformulated and I finally got my hands on some because so many of you have been telling me to try these. I put them on my lips and again, competing with high end. I feel that with lip gloss, you really don't need to go for something high end to really get something that's nice. This reminds me a lot of my Fenty Beauty cream gloss balm that I have. The formula feels like a lip balm. It's got really, really intense color payoff. This one this is shade 35 and it just looks stunning on the lips. I love shades like this for gloss, like it's my favorite thing to wear. These like mauve my lips but better kind of things without any sparkle. That's what I love in a gloss and this is perfection. Really lovely formula and I think this actually comes with quite a bit of product. It's not on the bottle how much product you get in here, but it's huge. Like this is a huge, this is huge packaging. I just hope it also, you also get as much product on the inside. But yeah, lovely packaging. I really enjoy the formula. Yes, Kiko, yes. And then another gloss formula, both of them are from Catrice, so I'm roping them in together because this has been discontinued and this is what they do now and I feel formula-wise they are the same. They just made the marble. <laughs> That's how I feel. And this is, shade-wise, this is closest to my favorite shade in this. This is the Better Than Fake Lips Volume Gloss from Catrice in the shade Lifting Nude. I used one of these up. Just put, putting that out there, me with my giant makeup collection and every single Lisa Eldridge lipstick under the sun used up a lip gloss by Catrice. I've repurchased it. This one's open. I've worn it again. And I have another one in backup because I love this thing. And I knew they were going to discontinue it. Um, I was still able to find this in store though. Online, I struggled to find this, but in stores, I was able to find this just fine. But they are now doing the Marblicious. What are these called again? Lip balm, liquid lip balms. And I feel that formula wise, there really isn't that much of a difference between these two. And the shade Don't Slurp So Loud, number 020 is the mauve tone that this one has as well. I feel this is a little bit deeper, a little bit more plum perhaps. This is a little bit more pink leaning, but they do essentially the same thing on your lips. So if you can get your hands on the marble ones, get the marble one. If you can still get your hands on the better than fake lips, buy that. I know a lot of people don't love the scent of these. They've been telling me in the comments, but I, I don't mind this scent at all. It's pretty neutral and it doesn't like, it's not like I ha really have to stick my nose in to smell anything. So let me see if this one is any different. Yeah, this one does have a little bit of a sweeter scent, but I don't find these, like they don't smell like cookie dough and they don't smell like flowers. Like they just smell like makeup and I don't mind that at all. So loving these, Catrice can do a good gloss. 
But then I also wanted to shout out a brand that was new to me this year. I started trying Mina, which is a Spanish makeup brand and they are sort of slowly making their way across the EU. Uh, this is their Color Glow Lip Glow in the shade 371. I found this in the UK. They sell the brand at Superdrug over there. I wish we would get a cool brand like this in our drugstores. Please, someone, just do it. Because they do lots of different colorful things. And I believe this was their summer launch. And it is one of those like super sheer, balmy lipsticks in this really fun, bright fuchsia shade and it looks really stunning on the lips and I've been enjoying every single product I bought from the brand. I definitely wanna try some more, but they are sort of up there in terms of drugstore pricing. So they are sort of, yeah, around the 15, 16 euro mark for like a single product. So it makes them a little bit more expensive than an Essence and a Catrice and even a Kiko one. But yeah, they do some really lovely things. If you want colorful things from the drugstore, look into Mina because they do some really lovely things. And another sheer lipstick formula that I love, I picked these up in the UK when I was there, the Milani Fetish lipsticks. These are not the matte formula. I would love to try some of those, but those detesters look atrocious and everything was super picked over. So instead I went with these. Um, and these I had been trying, like I've been wanting to try these for the longest time, but I couldn't find them anywhere, or at least not the shades I wanted to try. I have Kink, which is this like purpley shade. And I have Voyeur, which is another bright pink. I feel this is very similar to the Mina one, so I probably don't need both. And this looks purple, but when you put it on your lips, it actually shears out to more like a purpley pink. So it's more like just a cool tone pink kind of vibe. I really love the formula of these. Like again, Milani is another brand where I just feel lipstick wise, they really can do no wrong. I still have one of my Milani lipsticks that I bought way back in the day from like their standard line, which is this super nice bright fuchsia pink, really stunning lipstick. And Milani can just really do a good, a good job doing lip products but they are really difficult to get where I live. That's the only thing. I can only buy them online and everything Milani is just marked up so terribly compared to what you buy these for in the US. Um, in the UK, it was all right, but if I buy Milani from Boozy Shop, which is the easiest website to get it from for me, or Beauty Bay, I think it's like, you know, $20 for a lipstick like this, which, is a little bit up there. So I maybe I should just plan a trip to the US so I can stock up on some Milani. How fun would that be? It's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, I first would like to finish, like visit Japan. That's like my first like far away overseas trip is going to be Japan. But I don't think I'm going to be able to make it quite yet this next year. Um, but I hope to be able to do it the year later. But that all depends on like some health issues I'm currently dealing with and work things and budget things and the whole nine yards. So I just need to sort some things out in my life to be able to really do it. Because if I go and travel that far, I do wanna make sure I can commit. And currently my back issues are playing up a little too much that traveling to Japan for three weeks by myself is probably not the best idea. And it requires a little bit of planning. So fingers crossed. We're <laughs> We're, we'll figure things out in the meantime, but yeah, Japan won't run away. But yeah, that's the first sort of further away trip that I would like to take. Uh, I think next year is just going to be like a London trip and like a Paris trip and something what I did this year, something like that. Um, another really, really good lipstick, but sadly this has been discontinued, but I can get this thing out of my brain. Again, something I've used up in the past, used one of these up completely. And, re and repurchase it in like two new tubes and this one is open. The Power Plumping Gel Lipstick by Catrice. This is in the shade Speak Up. This is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, but this is a creamy formula with a bit of shine. So it's not a flat matte like the Pillow Talk one is. This was the first sheer lipstick formula I ever tried that I actually liked on me. 
I could use this thing up again. Again, if I were to commit, I could definitely use this up again. It's like a really good nude on me. And because it has that sheer quality, some of the purpliness I have in my natural lip color shines through and it actually makes the, sh the shade work better for me than the Charlotte Tilbury one. So guess what I kept for that pillow talk moment? I kept this over the Charlotte one. Not gonna lie. Really love this, but I don't think you can still get it. I think it was discontinued like a year or two ago. And then we're moving. We're slowly making our way into traditional lipsticks. Uh, something I also love is the Unlimited lipstick from Kiko. This is in shade 22, uh, the Unlimited Stilo. And this is another really good mauve tone here. I just love a mauve lip. That's just <laughs> like, give me, give me a mauve and I'm happy when it comes to like lip products. I'm like Velvet Muse from Lisa Eldritch and Velvet Sorcery are also my two most used lipsticks from the entire line. <laughs> it just is. I love a mauve lip. It goes with everything for me because it's so close to my natural lip color. But yeah, this is lovely. I really like the formula. Kiko is another brand that safe for their glosses. Their lipsticks are really where it's at. And I'm gonna show you another line in a minute that I just really enjoy. These are the more like sheer balmy texture kind of things, but I think their full on matte range is actually where it's at for me. But I just wanted to show this to let you know that a lot of the other formulas that Kiko does, as far as lipsticks go, they do a really good job. But before we get to Kiko, I need to talk about Catrice because their most recent scandalous matte range aced it out of the park. It was so good. I haven't seen Catrice do matte lipsticks like this in a while, so I hope they're gonna keep this line around for a while. And I've, I've selected my, my three favorite shades for you to show you. I have 060, this is Good Intentions, and guess what? It's a mauve tone, who knew? This is a little bit more pinky brown though, um, but it's really stunning. I haven't used this one a whole lot because I have so many other mauve tones, but from the range, I really enjoyed it. And just look at this packaging, like the intention to detail with Catrice and their lip products. I can't get over how perfect they make them. And these are like, what, four euros at the drugstore? You can't beat them for that. They did a stunning red. This is Blame the Night. And Catrice does, I think they currently are doing a Christmas collection with some reds in, but you don't need the limited edition stuff because look at how perfect this red possibly is. It is so, it's like that perfect classic red for the holidays, chef's kiss. But my favorite and most used shade from this entire collection is shade 080, Casually Overdressed. And it's a purple. It's their purple lipstick because one of the things I was not loving about Catrice's recent lipstick lines before this one was that they didn't do any fun shades. They were just doing nudes in like five different undertones and then they threw in the red and that was it, maybe a bright pink. But something fun like this, they haven't done in a while. And Catrice used to be the drugstore brand with like the bright oranges and like all those funky shades. And now they were doing this and I love it. I love this thing to pieces. So casually overdressed from Catrice, if you're looking for that purple pink. So again, like the Milani, it's not like a true, true purple going onto your lips because it's, it's quite a pink leaning purple. Um, but if you want something that's a little bit more cool tone than your traditional purple or red, then this can work really, really well on you. And I mentioned, I was gonna talk about Kiko, their Velvet Passion lipsticks. <sighs> These are great. And a lot of this range has dupes for Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. If you were looking for dupes for Lisa Eldridge, I would look into this Kiko line because they just do some really good things. Um, and this packaging feels super luxurious. Like the Catrice stuff just feels cheap, but this, it feels heavy. It feels weighty. It has a magnet closure with a satisfying snap. Love it when it does that. This is the shade Cherry, and this is a dupe for Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Ribbon. If you were looking for the classic red that Lisa Eldridge has in her collection, try Cherry from Kiko Milano, because it's great. The number here is, can I read that? 312. 
because Kiko always has numbers everywhere. So if you go into store looking for a lipstick called Cherry, you won't find it. Um, then the perfect mauve, Mer perfect mauve toned, like a cooler toned mauve is shade 315. I believe it's just cold mauve as well. I've had this in my collection for years. Love the thing to pieces. And then I have a deeper shade here as well. This is 318 or 319, I can't really read it. But this I believe is called Burgundy and it's this really pretty wine color. So if you want a good lipstick, I hope I've been able to share some really good recommendations with you guys um, because the drugstore does really good lipsticks for sure. I have, to be, I have to be very honest here though. When it comes to lipsticks, I'm a little bit of a snob. I usually prefer higher end lipsticks. When it comes to lip gloss, I have found that the drugstore can do just as good of a job or sometimes even better than high end. Um, so I think from now on, I'm just gonna try lip gloss from the drugstore, I think. But when it comes to lipsticks, my Gucci ones and my Lisa Eldridge ones are definitely my most worn and not the drugstore things, which is why the Catrice ones look so like little used. Not because I don't like the lipsticks, but because I have other things in my collection that I just prefer because they just work a little bit better for me. Lisa Eldridge mainly because she does really unique colors and every lipstick she does has something in the undertone that can pick up in your skin tone and it's very universally flattering. I find even though her lipstick range does pull slightly warm tone. So if you have a true, true cool undertone, I think you'd have to be careful with Lisa Eldridge. Same thing with Gucci. The Gucci line does have a very strong floral fragrance, which has to be your cup of tea. But um, the Gucci one is unique because it does the same shade in different formulas. So they will have a shade name that goes across four different formulas. So if you want something more bomb-like going into like full on velvety matte and everything in between because they have the voiles. No, the voile isn't even the one. There's even one that's lighter. I always forget the name of it, but they have one that's more like this really skinny lipstick. That's like very much like a balm. Then they do the voiles, which in terms of texture is similar to the Luxuriously Lucent's from Lisa Eldridge or something like, you know, the Milani color fetish ones. Then Gucci does a satin, which is a little bit more creamy, has a bit more shine, but full on opacity, which is unheard of. And then you also have the matte range, but I think the satin and the voile are my favorite from the Gucci range, so yeah. But, you know, the drugstore can do a perfectly good lipstick, so let me know in a comment down below what your favorite lipsticks at the drugstore are. I would love to know. Please um, th uh, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make several videos every single week, and in drugstore week, I have still one video left to show you. And we're talking about eyes, of course. So I hope you would like to stay tuned for more. And then I hope to see you in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.